Well, hey everybody, we are loaded up again. It is uh, April 23rd, we're heading back up to the cabin. This is a, a really big weekend for us. Uh, I've been working on <clears throat> getting these, figuring out how to get these logs out for a year now. Uh, so we dropped some trees up at our cabin, which is remote, only got snow machine access to it. Um, last weekend, I was able to get them across the river. If you haven't seen that video, you should probably check that out before you watch this one. But uh, <clears throat> now we're going up and we got to finish hauling them. We got 10 miles, we got to haul these logs. Right now I have nine across the river. Um, I'd like to get four more. I got three days to do it and I got a log truck coming on Sunday night. It's Thursday night. Sunday night I got a log truck coming to haul my logs home. Uh, so hopefully this all works. I didn't know if it was if we were gonna be able to pull it off and looks like we are gonna be able to. Uh, the hard part I think is over getting them to the main trail to this new staging area that they're sitting at now was difficult but we got it done um so now and that was two miles so that we we had to get the logs two miles to where they sit now so we're gonna get them the rest of the way to the landing uh there's a contractor down there that's gonna let me stage the logs there until the until the uh log truck shows up so someone doesn't think they can have it for firewood um anyways it's gonna be an awesome trip it's warm this might be the last week and I could get them out of there. It's been in the 30s. Snow's kinda, it's not gonna last much longer if it stays warm like this. So we gotta get them out this week because then I have to work night shift for a week. So that's the plan. Dad and the boys, Dad and Owen, and my cousin Chris and another wrestle, local wrestler, Jimmy is up there right now. They left three or four hours ago, get the cabins warm and get the hot tub filled up. So, see you guys at the landing. We're doing it a little different this trip. Uh, we're not gonna bring the uh, tra the sled that I built for the dogs. They're gonna go in the kennel right there. Uh, just pulling that dog sled with a short hitch like that just doesn't work. I need to figure something else out. Keeps coming unhooked. But anyways, in the background there, you can see a log arch. Uh, I borrowed this from a buddy of mine. Carrie, thanks. We're gonna see if uh, if this doesn't help us get these logs out. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit wide for the trail, but we're gonna find out here real quick. And if not, we're gonna at least use it to raise the logs to put the sigil and sleds under. You'll see we're pulling a lot of sleds here. My dad pulled in uh, five or six, plus I got three. Um, some are junkers that we may cut up and just throw under the logs. Some are good siglins that will go in the front, but. Anyways, we're not really exactly sure how we're going to do it. We just don't want to destroy the trail. So that's why we're bringing all this stuff up there. And I still have my log arch at the cabin. Okay, we're going to get up there. Well, we made it to the cabin. We got the fires going, hot tubs getting hot. 
cabin was nice and warm when we got in there. Pop was already in bed. Uh, but the northern lights are, let me see if I can. There's the northern lights. Uh, early morning we got everything loaded up dad and the boys and Chris already headed down to the logs so didn't get any video but I'll try to get some when we're getting the logs on the sleds and hopefully today's a good smooth log hauling day okay so here's the crew we got dad we got Zay we got Jimmy we got Owen we got my cousin Chris we got a bunch of sleds, we got a bunch of dunnage. We're gonna start, we're gonna use this thing, this log arch to pick this first tree and we're gonna slide a sled under it. Are we doing a log arch on this one? Just to pick it, we'll get the sled under it and then we'll slide the other log arch under it. Okay, now we'll set it down on this one. Do we need to set it down on blocks? I can't get ahead no more. Okay. Pull them blocks out of there. Put one more under. These are gonna set down. Push 
Then we could get a smaller strap if there is one, and we'll be wrapping. Even touching back there. <laughs> we'll ratchet strap that tongue up, nice and tight. Okay. Let's do two straps, one in the front and one in back of each sled. I wonder if that'll just pull right. There's two right here, Scott. Yeah, heavy duty bigger here. ones. Huh? Let's get some bigger ones. If there is. There's a bigger than well, that's a big one. I got some big daddies in there. I don't mind using them. Way it's held to the sled. I mean, it can't unless it rips the rope. We'll get this one out. It's pretty heavy. It's green and one of the biggest logs. I just cut it down last weekend. And, uh, yeah, it's going awesome. Might be able to do four at a time next trip. Right now we're doing three. Well, this is the one spot I was worried about. And that's why it's right there, that thing. 
But anyways, pretty sharp corner. I had to unhook my dad and then hook up the log guards to try to yank it out of here. <laughs> Got three of the logs out to the uh, landing. Um, I didn't have my phone for some of that. I gave it to my nephew to video and then they ended up coming back. But we got three of the logs out there. We did fight it at the end. Uh, there's the one spot that I thought would be bad was. Uh, <coughs> we ended up having to use my pickup to pull it because they, they built, they're building the road and it uh, had some fresh crushed rock on it. So we weren't able to pull the sleds. So. Tomorrow we'll get some of that on video. Tonight what we got going on is, well, the hot tub is hot back there, but I'm looking at dropping a couple more trees and uh, we're gonna get everything ready to go for morning. So all we have to do is hook up to the sleds and go. So it's almost four o'clock. It took us two, three hours longer than we thought it was gonna, but we got them out there. I told everybody I was going to go find a couple smaller trees and I don't know how I missed this one but I had a pretty awesome 24 incher on the property and it looks like it's perfectly straight. I got her cut down and I got her limb. It's hard to tell until I get it pulled out of the snow but uh I didn't figure I was going to be able to do it the same way we were doing it last week, and so I just ran back up to the main trail where we have our log stage and grab the, the big log guard and see if this thing won't jack her up and make it a little easier to guard it out of there. I think Dad's kind of mad at me. <laughs> I told him there are going to be little trees. Okay, here's the tree. Get it back in there. Let's get the. Oh, oh hold on. Yep, stop. What's going on? It's coming up. Well, I think we need a case. You need to go closer to the tip. Yeah, let me. Well, <laughs> this ain't gonna pick up 24 feet of this no, bad boy. Pull him back. Yep. Go ahead and go down. Be careful. Be careful when you go in reverse. You need to be about where the chain is, probably. There you go, more. That's impressive, ain't it? Isn't that impressive? Come on, right away. Come on, you I thought you were heavyweight, heavyweight, baby. Wonder if we shouldn't have picked up closer. <laughs> Because it's hard to get the underneath it, so you might want to bring it in. Dad's gonna pull 
Scott. That hit the stop, huh? No. 
off and ratcheted that to the thing and then it'd go higher. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna take this off. It may not work. Why ain't that gonna work? Right, pull on it by yourself. What are we doing? Well, we gave up on the tree. We got to the cut bank and it's been so hot here lately that the uh, sun has got dirt showing down here. And once we hit the dirt, right there, once we hit that dirt, she came to a stop and we spent quite a bit of time trying to get it over it. I'm not sure if we're gonna get this one out of here this year. But uh, anyways, uh, my oldest son Jared's on his way up. Owen and Jimmy and Isaiah are over there putting up a burbot set. We're trying to get the hot tub hot so we can get in and relax. I think this is uh, quite a. It's a lot bigger than the trees that we hauled out. Same size butt, but the tip's way bigger. Not exactly sure. I haven't put a tape measure on it yet, but it's it's a lot bigger than what we hauled out already. So hopefully we get it out of here. If not, do it next year. number four right there should I move my sled that's a big one 
long there. Hold up. Hey. Oh, you're good. You're good. Stop. Hey. Stop. We already rolled over, Scotty. Well, Dad didn't get very far. 100 yards. We put the sled on backwards this time. Shot. And uh, these runners didn't do us any favor, so just right over. she rolled over. Anyways, we're going to get her flipped over here and get back on the trail. It's got to be in the tall sledge. Who? Aaron. Oh, Aaron. is that Aaron? Yeah, it's a sled oh. right there. Oh, I didn't even see it. Give it a kick. Well, this same spot we had problems yesterday. Did it rip the sled right out again? No. no. But that one, it's that panel's too big for, or the hook's too big for the Maybe the Bearcat, Scott? Bearcat, you. Yeah. We made it through that last part pretty easy compared to yesterday.
we're like a half a mile from the pickup or from the road and uh dad's sled pulled right out from underneath the log so i'll leave my log back there i'm hooking up to his log and getting it the rest of the way just go all the way all the way up yeah so it don't drag and then i can pull it by myself Okay, that looks good. Hey, get it out of the log arch. Hey, get it out of the arch, and then it will roll. You better go okay. get that other one. So we're out to the road. We're going to leave him here, drag him the rest of the way with the chain. Aaron went to get my pickup, and here he comes. Uh, I'm going to go back and grab that other log. Breaking everything down right now, getting the sleds out from underneath. Okay. Well, we just came back to the cabin for a couple hot dogs. Dad and the boys just ran back down to our staging area. We're gonna get a couple more logs staged. We can only do two at a time because uh, my weld broke. We put this thing through the test and looking at the weld, I'm actually surprised it held on that long. It was kind of crappy welds. So now we're gonna do two. And then uh, after we get that, we're gonna try to get that that guy down to the river and to the staging area where we'll then in the morning we'll haul two more out so two now two tomorrow okay, we're all uh, loaded up again we decided we are going to take three out i'm kind of doing mine a little different put the tip in an old junker sled that would go into the dump after this put some holes in it with the chainsaw Try to get these last three out and then get a couple more for the morning. Hey, he's, he's gonna need help. That's a crooked one, but we'll use it somewhere. It's got the runners on the bottom, so it has no direction. So that's our fix. Hopefully it works. If not, we're just going to drag it. We got Owen right behind us on a groomer, pulling a groomer. Pat's groomer. Thanks, Pat. So if I do dig a little trench here, we'll fill it right back in. The reason why we were putting the sleds halfway down is to 
fully suspend the log so that we didn't dig a trench, but we broke our other log art, so this is what we're doing. We're gonna have to fix that. Is it you so we're at the slough here. This is the bad spot. Dad and Caleb ran all the way out. They're gonna drop their log, then come back. I probably can make it by myself, but I don't wanna get in there and then be blocking the trail. So we'll see if we can't fix Jared's sled while we're waiting for him. Is that how you're holding them as I got? Show, show me how you're holding them. So this machine, for whatever reason, well, it doesn't have ice scratchers. So we've, uh, my cousin Chris came up with the idea to have Isaiah hold willows down there to throw snow up on the track. So that's been his job every time we make a load out. So what's your new nickname, Zay? Scratcher? New nickname is Scratcher. Okay, we got to get this sled under this log. Okay, so uh, Caleb came back and got me. That's real good. And my dad's still down there and he wants to sleep now. It warmed up like 30 degrees today for about one hour. And now it's gone up. There it goes there. Uh, Owen with the groomer. Trying to clean up our mess. I don't think we did too much damage. We dished out some of the high spots, but... We got all our logs out. Now we just run them back in. Caleb popped on the groomer. He's gonna groom the rest of the way back. I don't know if they're the way back, but some guys just uh, somewhat sunset. Well, we got them all out of here. Looks a lot different without a bunch of logs stacked up here. So tomorrow, or tonight, actually, we're going to go back and see if we can't get that one big tree we were working on yesterday. It'd make a really nice ridge bowl. Thing is really heavy, but we're going to try to get it out here. I'm going to pull it out in the morning if we can. And uh, we're out of here tomorrow. Got my buddy Scott. He's going to come out and with his log truck and bring the logs back to Fairbanks for us. It was an awesome weekend. We got lots of work done. I think all of us are ready to get in the hot tub. And Caleb is that way. Probably five miles on the uh, groomer. So he'll be he'll be a little bit. But the rest of us we're gonna go back, work on that other log.
we got the log down on the river, and now we're in the hot tub. Uh, river. Look at the home sparks in there. That's a lava. Hopefully they move the snow machine. Yeah, they walk down. Oh, they fell asleep. Well, it's our last day up here. We got that log down there last night. The boys just got it all, got all three sleds underneath it. We're gonna try to pull it out without the log arch to the main trail, and then maybe we'll throw the log arch under it. But we're just getting everything loaded up, cleaned up. We're gonna get this log out there, and then we are gonna get out of here. Put that black one in the middle,
the uh, main trail. We got uh, kind of under a time crunch right now. The log trucks beat me out at the pickup in two hours. So I'm running back into the cabin. We're going to throw everything in the sled and get out of here. Hopefully, we don't have any snacks on that sled. I can't believe we actually got it out because I. Uh, once it flipped over in that old slew bed, I thought we were done, but we got it. Well, we're all loaded up. Brandon and most of the boys are going to sleep in the fast and be a few minutes behind us. Dad, Jared, and I are going to go start dragging the tree back. These guys are going to catch up. We're all hooked up. We're going to go. We're going to just pull two sleds all the way out. Probably ain't gonna get much of this on video because my uh, back of my machine will jump off the ground for a lot of it. Well, we almost made it. Flip the thing over again. Almost made it. If we would have had a chain around that, it wouldn't have twisted. Okay, well, we got to get it flipped over here. Isaiah, you should move. You're on the wrong side. Okay, well, we are back to the road. We made it out. I definitely think I bent this a little bit. So I'll, I'll replace that for him. But uh, I wanted to give everybody a quick walk around this thing. It is an absolute beast. And we would have never, ever been able to do this job without it. Just kind of show you guys what it is if you're interested in trying to build one because this thing is awesome. Carrie, thanks for letting me use it. I'm going to build one just like it. This tree, I, don't, I mean, it might not look that heavy, but it is green and it is very heavy. And it doesn't have a lot of taper to it. It's a very heavy tree. Like, this thing is awesome.
ton of them. So my buddy Scott here with Jack Cross Logwoods, one of the guys we do the ice racing with, he uh, said he's come down and grab my logs and here he is. 